live from ABC7, this is Slam Dunk, presented by your Southern California Chevy dealers. Well, good evening, everybody, and thank you so much for tuning in to another primetime edition of Slam Dunk The Finals here on ABC7, home of the NBA Finals. Game 4 is coming up on Friday alongside Norm Nixon and Austin Corsi. I'm Rob Fukuzaki. We'll have post-game reaction from Miami as Norm and Austin break down Game 3 of the NBA Finals. I guess Denver was a little upset in the performance in Game 2. They were Mike Brown. You know, he implored his team to come out with a better defensive effort in this game, and that's exactly what they got. They gave up 48% from the field in Game 2, just 38% in this game, and I thought the defensive effort that they showed was really the difference. That's exactly what they needed to do. I think they got a little complacent in Game 2, but the team came back and did what they had to, had to do. They came home court, but again, he's imploring them again to say, hey, don't relax because you won two games. This Miami team has a lot of heart, and you can believe they're going to come after them the next game. Yeah, Michael Malone at the end of that game, you know, when Duncan Robinson hit that triple to cut it down, he was <laughs> called timeout. He's like, what is going on again? All right, after many prognosticators crowned the Denver Nuggets champions before the finals even began, Miami simply stole home court in game two in the Rocky Mountains tonight. Game three in South Beach, a white